we are back with another daddy daughter reaction today Cora we are going to be watching a brand new movie neither one of us has seen called Cruella it's based off the old cartoon of uh, 101 Dalmatians which this will probably be a prequel and it tells how Cruella de Vil became the villain of 101 Dalmatians are you looking forward to it? Uh-huh. You have any idea on what this movie is going to be like? Mm-hmm. You do have an idea? Uh-huh. Well, tell the audience. I think she's like going to be the one in the cover. Well, she is the one on the cover. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All righty. And so we will be back right after the movie. And we'll get Cora's thoughts and my thoughts when we're done. See you after. Bye. Well, you just finished Cruella. What did you think? Um, a little bit good and a little bit of bad. Why well, was okay? So let's start with the easy. What was good about it? So like, I liked the ending because she finally got with her revenge. But how? Like, I but. Like, the girl... Well, before we continue, do you want to say... Warning, there will be spoilers. Say warning. Warning, there will be spoilers. Okay. So... So... The Baroness was her mommy. Yes, and... And her mommy killed her pretend mommy. Yes, and then at the end, she pushed her hole off a cliff because I knew that was coming, but I didn't want to think I know, and like I know I watched this movie, but we did it, so. But you said you liked that, that she finally got her revenge. So what didn't you like about the movie? So like, I does say blood, blood, but I think I pops when she skipped was the blood, but all her moves of kill, that blood, but maybe she does all those kills very hardly, 
this the creator of that movie hide it the evidence of the secrets of that movie like blood although as well that's a really secret but so did this movie keep your interest well maybe did you like the doggies yes i do i like doggies and cats who is which animal was your favorite i liked it the three black and white dogs the dalmatians yes and those that started off evil and then turned good yes and i also like the one it always I like the one that like, looks like Forty. Buddy? Yeah. I think they called him? Yeah. And then the last one was Winky? The little Chihuahua? Yeah, but I was talking about the one that looks like Forty. You know, the, the pet we have, the dog. Yeah. You want the um, Cecil dog? Did you, um... Is there anything else you want to say about the movie? Yeah. What? So, um, like... I saw it at the very, 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 very end. She was going... There's like going to be black screen and then cook scene like um, a all of bug guy comes and goes the other kid and then like a, the dad replaces that model with new model and then and then when she go and then the other model forces for her off the cliff. But yeah, instead, we've already talked about that. But instead, she like, but so a clue her with tigers. What? What? What are you talking about? Tiger. You mean at the beginning, the three Dalmatians when the Dalmatians pushed no, her? No, we mean chapter two. What? Chapter 2. Chapter 2? There was no chapters, Cora. Fine. Me too. You're talking about the beginning, when they, she killed the fake mom. Yes, but Kay. I'm talking about the beginning of chapter 2. Okay, so what did you think of the reveal that Cruella was actually the daughter of the Baroness? Did you like that? Um, like I said. I love a bad a little bigot. Did you like that? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you like the character Cruella? Yeah. Did you? Ex what was your favorite part of the movie? I liked it when she finally got her revenge bears carried. Daddy's favorite part was probably when uh. It turns out that all those little bead things on that one dress turned out to be cocooned uh, moths. And they hatched in the vault overnight and ruined all of the Baroness's dresses for her show. I think that was the coolest part. Why do you like pots with bugs ruined dresses? That's like... If you because that was part of her revenge plan. That was part of what she was doing to get revenge on the Baroness. But if you was a girl and that happened to you, like you and you just was, was very good. And then, but and the Baroness and, and they go ruined. You be like very very sad. Yeah, but and the Baroness was stealing the dress designs from her workers. But. So she kind of deserved that all her dresses got ruined. Can I talk to her on this for a minute? Go talk. 
guys, when we was watching the movie, I s like like my dad said, little spooks. I said, just this again. The cocoons. Cocoons, like I said, the cocoons were bullets, and she was going to use them as a dress. But when we get you to the part, it turns out I was one. Those co co cocoons was actually cocoons, not bullets. Yeah, Daddy just thought they were golden beads. I didn't know what they were. And then I, once all the moths started flying out of the safe, I'm like, okay, now I know they were cocoons that were probably sprayed gold to look like beads. Or bullets. Or bullets, sure. But anyways, so let's see. What did I think of the movie? Well... I liked it better than some of Disney's other recent movies. I actually like this better than Black Widow. And also the West of Keller movies. Mm. Um, I do understand the reason why some people would compare this like to the recent Joker movie. Or other recent movies that have come out. Uh, I can definitely see the comparisons in the movies. Um, but, yeah, I actually enjoyed this. It actually makes a really good, you know, prequel to the live action 101 Dalmatians and 102 Dalmatian movies, where Glenn Close plays. Cruella. Only problem is I don't know if the timeline exactly would line up right, and I they would they should not have gender swapped some characters. If they had left some characters the way they were, then you could literally watch this, then 101, then 102 Dalmatians, and have like a whole trilogy of movies. But, no, they went the route of, you know, this is starting a whole new thing. And I doubt they're going to continue on with it. So this movie is probably just going to stand on its own. But, so, I personally would definitely recommend this movie. How about you, Cora? Would you recommend this movie to people? Um, maybe. Should people watch it? Okay, so... But, Dad, which part was weird for you? Which part was weird? Yes. Um, I don't know if any of it was weird. Well, one part was weird, but I liked it, though. What? What part? When the... The koala got pushed by his own model by a koala come in a car. You thought that was weird? Yes. I, I think that's because maybe it's the first time you're seeing that. Trust me, you're going to see that a lot in your lifetime. Wait till you see some other movies like the Ocean movies or something where you get a big reveal. And you find out things aren't exactly the way they look. I think there's going to be other movies that are going to blow your mind like that. So anyways. I would recommend this movie. She would recommend this movie. Would you? Do you think other kids are going to sit through this movie? Or were you starting to get bored of Nancy? Well, for a second, I got it bored because... This is supposed to be a watching movie, not a play movie, though. Yeah. yeah. So, you think other little kids might get bored of this part way through? Yeah, because, like, a, half of my brain was getting bored, but the other half of my brain was getting fun. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this was really a movie. Not like kids cannot watch this movie. I just personally, as a parent, I think this movie was, um, 
not entirely something that kids are going to want to sit through. And I think that kind of fails with the Disney formula. You know, the whole thing is about, you know, getting a movie that families are going to want to watch. And this, to me, just isn't that kind of movie, I think. Luckily, my daughter did sit through it, but that's because we were looking forward to doing this video. So she knew she had to sit through it. And I could tell there were times she was getting a little bored. Um... Unlike, you know, with uh, The Matrix, which The Matrix, you were completely zoned into that. You loved that movie. Yeah. So, I don't know. that. I mean, Matrix is a serious thing, not really meant for kids. And that held her attention more than Cruella. But I still think she enjoyed Cruella, right? Yeah. You enjoyed it, right? You had a good time? Yeah. Okay, so... Your kids, they'll probably have a good time. It may not be something that's going to keep them captivated. So just keep that in mind. Cora has a big announcement going up on screen right now. Is a code for a movie. Because we have finally hit 50 subscribers. The first huge milestone of this channel. 50 subscribers. The now, now we just gotta hopefully reach 100, and yeah. As you can clearly see, I have my own little drama queen here. So we are going to say goodbye, and if you you like good movies with good plot twists and interesting angles then I think you'll definitely get a kick out of this as a teenager or an adult. But if you're a little kid and your little kid is not the kind of kid that's going to, that needs to be constantly, you know, shown action, I don't think your kid will really want to sit through this. They're going to get as antsy as you see she is right now. So, you want to tell the viewers anything before we end this? Yes. Guys, if you like the this show and the movie, like and subscribe to my dad's channel. Because like he said, we we wait, I think he said we are almost to one hundred subscribers. We're halfway there. We are halfway to one hundred. That's where we're at. We're at fifty right now. Yes. So, alright, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.